In the last video, we saw how planar and planar cut can essentially create a plane out of a certain area in our model. What I'd like to demonstrate now is the planar flatten brush. Now, I'm going to jump and grab my standard brush first because we want to make this surface slightly uneven. And I'm just going to elevate portions of the surface and then hold the Alt key and kind of cut down in different areas. So if we were to use the planar or the planar cut at this point, you can see that the planar does a great job at taking certain areas of the surface and then flattening it out along the plane. But what about these areas that are carved into the surface? You can see it's kind of just sliding along here, but as we get to those areas, it's not really doing anything with it. This is where the planar flatten will work well, because not only does it push down and kind of flatten the surface, but it'll also pull up specific areas of the surface. And we're going to select our planar flatten. And you'll notice I'll start again by selecting the plane that we're going to work with. So I'll choose a flat area right around here on the cube. And then as I move across this area, you're going to see it's going to continue flattening that out just as you would expect, just like with the planar brushes. But as we get to these deeper areas, let me make a larger brush size here. As we get to these deeper areas, you can see that it's going to go ahead and clean those up as well. And we can actually continue moving off the cube here because you can see it's trying to continue that plane off into space and it's actually elevating specific areas of our geometry. So unlike the planar brush, the planar flatten brush will kind of plane out specific areas that are elevated and other areas that have been carved into the surface. And again, just like we looked at earlier, you can see that the embed value for this brush is different than the planar brushes that we were looking at. And also, two new values have been added on the top and bottom of the sphere. So it's really a good idea to just get in here and kind of play with the different settings here with the embed value and the brush depth and it'll give you a great idea on how this new powerful slider is working.